Hi, I am Brir Atrati, a sophomore pursuing my bachelor's degree in robotics at Praksha University, India. India has a lot of different things. 18% of the world population, 7th largest country, largest democracy, and not surprising at all, but also the largest population of hearing and speech impaired individuals. What is surprising though, is for these 66 million people in India, there are a whopping 314 certified sign language interpreters. This creates a huge communication gap within the society. A recent study published in the Laryngoscope found out that 67% of all speech impaired individuals felt socially isolated. With my Millennium Fellowship project as an emerging technologist, I aim to bridge this very communication gap that persists. Indriya started off as a quick weekend project for my first hackathon in college. My team and I had developed a rudimentary app that let people convert speech to text in real time to converse without the use of sign language. During the course of the Millennium Fellowship, we reached out to almost all of the 314 sign language interpreters in India. I remember cold calling and cold mailing interpreters and asking if they would be interested in a conversation about the situation and the proposed solution. It was in these interactions that I found out that the problem in my solution earlier was that I was trying to replace sign language with text and this needed to change. Introducing Indria, a B2B SaaS platform that converts speech to sign language in real time by providing accurate sign language animation. We are not only enabling communication for speech impaired individuals, but also promoting inclusivity at every step. This platform has applications literally everywhere. Healthcare, education, retail, entertainment, you name it. Indri also aims to fulfill SDGs 4, 9 and 10. Over this course, we have developed our own custom conversion engine, which takes in sound, processes it and creates the 3D animations of the corresponding sign language in real time. This was quite a feat for us to achieve and couldn't have been done if it wasn't for the Millennium Fellowship and my journey as an emerging technologist, which honestly started off earlier than I realized. I always had this habit of taking things apart and building them back together for fun, which eventually transitioned to this passion for problem solving and innovation. And finally, getting connected to so many like-minded individuals all over the world was exhilarating. Interacting and learning together with these folks during the fellowship is what enabled me to aim towards solving this global problem one conversation at a time.